What's good, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a only recruit in California rebuild. Obviously, California is going to be our team. Now, just a little overlay of what's going on. We got to try and win a natty with Cal, obviously. The reason I chose Cal is because they're not super overpowered to begin with, but we have a very, very good foundation. They're 86 overall on the newest update of CFB revamp. I'm not going to do a team like USC, for example, because they're 93 and a five-star prestige. At least with Cal, there's a bit more of a challenge to it. We don't want to be a top-rate team straight away. For example, when we do the Alabama-only recruit challenge, we're not going to use Auburn or Alabama. We're only going to be using Troy. Troy is in Alabama, if I'm correct, hopefully. But we are recording these live on Twitch. The Twitch stream is going right now. The link to my Twitch will be the top one in the didgeridoo. Make sure you come through, come and say good day. We have a lot of fun. And you get to see the YouTube videos in advance. One more thing to point out before we get into it. We are level 15. That is to make sure that we are competitive at the beginning. It doesn't mean that we're overpowered or broken or anything like that. It just means that if there is a recruit from Cal that we want, there's a higher chance that we're going to be able to get him. We're not really cheese in the game just using the same kind of things we did with the five-year rebuild essentially updated rosters chase garbage we're gonna need to get a no we have zach johnson i think we might be good at quarterback this team is not as bad as i thought it would be we have a lot of freshmen a lot of freshmen in fact wow uh a lot of these guys are gonna get red shirted there is no limit to how many years this goes for by the way i want to point that out all right so straight out the gates hayden thompson we did we do have a uh, freshman quarterback but if there's a five star interested there's no doubt i'm gonna go for it and this is why i wanted to do cow great talent not overpowered talent it's gonna make it fun oh wait i didn't even check if they're in cow i already broke the rules i have to get rid of hayden thomas because he's from pennsylvania so yikes so we got a guy from compton here though I really want to get Chris East, bro. Hard hitter from Compton. So now that I've done that and I've gotten rid of the quarterback, let's go to Cal. Let's just check out who we got in California. Pick up a punter as well. I see no reason why we shouldn't get ourselves a punter. Five-star athlete. Wow, okay. His nickname could be straight out of the secondary if you imagine. Nice, nice. 83 kicker. Okay, so we're not that bad. 86, 84. In the pack, that could either be 12 and 0 or that could be 0 and 12. <laughs> so hopefully we don't get fired. Chris East was a 78. This is the guy out of Compton. 85 speed, 85 excel, 88 hit power, 86 zone. Okay, that is Chris East might very well be my number one target here. Let's get our trenches done. 400 bonus for him. 345 for the guard. I kind of want the fullback, but I feel like we might be able to pull him by a Cedric is not the player. I got to get rid of Cedric. Very nice. Chris East looks to be in the bag. We're not going to get John McCoy, unfortunately. We'll have to come back in a few weeks. I'm not going to low lock cheese it just yet because I kind of want to focus on the guys we have here. I would take this tight end, but this tight end is a must get. Okay, so the kid out of Compton, Chris East, is going to commit. We got an O lineman and a middle lineman backer all right so low lock cheese what can california offer not a lot apparently did know it was going to be a little bit hard there is nothing here though okay so we seem to have hit a little bit of an impasse i didn't realize but i went all the way up to 39 percent on low lock and that is not good because that means that uh We've basically run out of all the Cal players. So Brian Clark is going to get 700 and a Scully. And Lance Jude will also get a, uh, 50 points as well. But that's pretty much it. That is literally the class right there. I can't add any players. All right, so Thomas Vincent, Matt Robertson, Alan Cooper, and Brian Cleveland. Not to be mistaken, Brian Cleveland is a California resident. Calvin Curtis goes to Oklahoma. Of course he does. Our classes aren't going to be that deep. So we're going to have to lower our standards. All right, we pick up everybody other than Tim Hine. We have a pretty good season on our hands. We went eight and four. We didn't make the conference championship, but uh, I would say that season one was absolutely a success to building this natty winning team. We have Michigan. That's probably an L. I don't like that they matched us up with Michigan in the red box bowl. We beat Michigan. This is the team of destiny, chat. Not a bad season for Garbers. Not great either. 2,600 yards. I'm not sure if that's a lot in college. Our running back absolutely snapped. He's only a junior. And we redshirted majority of our freshmen. So hopefully we see them dominate next year. But for now, again, 9-4 record in season one in a very difficult division. Things look to be good. We might very well go to a five-star school after that season. Wow, not bad. Two 
players taken in the second, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Our players were right up there in the draft, man. Garbage. So this is what I was most interested in. If you recruit only in Cal, you can expect to get what rank? A top 25 class. 22nd. We didn't get any five stars. We also did not go up to a five star prestige. I guess we got to win 10 games to go up. Still a lot of work to do on the team. Bit of a yikes. Hopefully with a rookie freshman quarterback, he's going to be able to play well. But I do have my doubts. Starting a freshman is often a good way to uh, go 0 and 12. The boy out of Compton. Hard hitter. Uh, let me get a look at his stats. He's not the fastest player in the world. I know he's got really good zone, but what is this hit power talking about? 88. He really is a hard hitter. He will be starting next year. He's also six foot four. I'd like to point that out. Next year's team is going to be really good, but this year's team is probably going to struggle, obviously, with the freshman quarterback. But in reverse, let's at least try and get a really good class before we go down inevitably in prestige. Okay, already out the gate. Got a couple blokes here interested in joining the squad. Five-star receiver, five-star quarterback. Maybe we never do have to start that guy as of next season. Sammy Reed, El Centro. He's another hard-hitting strong safety. You can already feel this team getting so much better. Another athlete, a five-star athlete. Okay, Ben Smith, wow. Yeah, no doubt we are uh, scouting. We are scouting university. We are safety university without a doubt. Uh, did we go up or down overall? We're about the same, but that's understandable. We lost six players to the draft. Already, this class is looking to be amazing. Amazing. The cow only rebuild is OP. Definitely try it. Also, let me know down in the comment section what other states you would like to see me try. More offensive linemen. Beautiful. Do we go after another safety? I think we do because they could easily go to cornerback as well. Freshman quarterback chat, what did I say? Freshman quarterbacks are not fun. Sam Rivera gonna start out the U2 class. 79 overall, we'll take that, even though we're one and three. Mm, maybe recruiting in Cal wasn't as overpowered as I once initially thought. There's running backs that squat more than this tackle. 98 Excel for a six foot three, 245 outside linebacker. Alrighty, so we got Richard back. Nice. We're adding to our team. That's a really solid class. Again, somebody went assigned with USC, which really isn't good for us. Um, it looks like we're gonna get all three of these guys, which is good. But Scott Folks, Folks goes to Miami and Grady Harvey going to USC. That's 10 people with three more to come. That's gonna be a class of 13. Alright, uh sophomore now, Zach Johnson, 18 touchdowns, eight picks, 2300 yards. That's not great. Christopher Brooks played his last game, didn't make it to a bowl game, nothing, but he went off. He should be going to the league. Alright, Jeff McNeil is looking to transfer, which really you're pissing me off, mate. My heart is no longer here, coach. You know how it is. No, I don't. Because you don't talk to me, Jeff McNeil. I would have loved to have convinced you. To, you know what? Just go to San Jose State. Okay, in return, we get Calvin Smith, the freshman. He's out of Oregon, though, so I'm going to have to actually deny that. That was a top five class. The fourth best. We go down a prestige level. We're not messing around. D Sims, dude. Where is D Sims? We literally got a player. <laughs> Shit, his name might be Dan. I don't even know. So Kai Milner. Milner will no doubt be getting the start. 85 over... That means he's going to go up to like a 92 his junior. That's crazy. Nah, we're destined to be great on this team. And we got a couple of quarterbacks coming up the ranks as well. Running backs are dog shit, but that's okay. We'll work on that. Receivers are looking to be good. 85 as a sophomore. I need a running back from San Francisco, California. That's what I'm talking about. Five-star free safety. 82 overall. Say it ain't so. Even though we went down a prestige level, it feels like the talent is getting better. Okay, we are definitely safety university. If we manage to get Chris Pollard, 96 speed, 93 excel. Ooh, this guy is a burner, bro. How tall is he? 6'2". Wow, Chris Pollard is going right to the top of the board. Ooh, our free safety made it to the all Pac-12 team. And our right guard, this, I don't know how to say that name. Pastor made it too, and he's not even starting. Yikes. 
All right, so without a doubt, Chris Pollard is uh, getting 700 and a scholarship. So is the running back B plus? We're getting better. We are getting better. 90, 91, and 90. So the four year outlook has us being rank nine. I think we'll get to rank nine a lot faster than that. All right, so we're going to bring everybody in against Utah. I don't like the idea of bringing everybody in versus uh, USC. We're going to go a little bit later in the season this time around. Yo, we beat the shit out of Texas. 24 0. Let's go. Tyler Edwards, a quarterback, Ben Pitt going to commit Mike Jenkins and Richard Walton. All right, so the second group of people are ready for visits. We're going to go and bring them in against Utah as well. We beat Utah and every single recruit came in against Utah. Everybody else is going to commit. Unfortunately, Chris Pollard, the guy we want the most, we're still in a battle for it. At least we have a lead on Pollard. The only other place he's going is Washington, but we have the biggest bonus on him. Big dub right there, six and three. Chat, can we get 10 wins? We have beaten Stanford every year, fun fact. And the get we've almost dropped a 50 bomb on Stanford all three times. All right, so we get uh, the saving factor on level two. Not bad, not bad at all. We got the dub. We got the dub. 10 and 3 record for Cal. You cannot tell me that we are not on the up and up. Like, it's over. Dominated the pass quarterback. 3,500 yards, 35 touchdowns, 5 picks. 1,200 to Damian Moore. Sturdivant, who's only a sophomore, had 1,600 yards. Chris East, my dude, 6'4, 88 hit power. Three interceptions on the season at half a sack, two TFLs, and 47 tackles. Sturdivant is trying to declare. But I'm going to slide him a McDonald's bag. Okay, so I think this is a no-brainer. I would love to get Jim Chance. Chris Pollard needs 15,000 points. Chris Pollard is going to commit to the squad. So I would say, without a doubt, we have the greatest safety duo in college football right now. We don't go up a prestige level. I don't really understand it. We went 10-3. and three, We beat expectation. Chris Pollard gave us our first five-star of season three. Okay, Milner's up to a 99 and he's only a junior. We also have Sturdivant who's only a junior. This could be the rebuild right here. We could very well go to the Natty with this team. Jermaine Terry's up to a 94. Five-star quarterback, all right, out of Nevada, California. We'll take it. We got a couple of guards here. That's good. I really need uh, offensive linemen. I don't need safety though. I get it, all the best safeties come from Cali, but bruh, I'm telling you, if you come here, you will not start for at least three years. Willie Long is worth recruiting for name alone. Wait, there was a Willie Long? Yeah, no, that is definitely a very uh, funny name. All right, let's see how long Willie, Willie Long's... Bruh, that's a tongue twister. He's a beast! 91 Excel, 80 pass block, 85 run block. He is no joke on the O-line. Sturdivant, of course, that was a, uh, a no-brainer. Nobody else made it there in the all Wait, that's all NCAA! Our kicker made it to the second team. That is... Wow. That is on the all NCAA first team, Sturdivant. Pac-12, we got more in Sturdivant. Running back and receiver duo. Vincent is going to make it, of course. Do we have our safeties? Our quarterback made it to the all pac 12 second team. Unfortunately, they're not recognizing our safeties, though. But we do have level two insta commit, so there is, a, I think, like a 10% chance, 15% maybe, that we could sign these guys. I really, really hope that somebody commits. Yo, season four. 97, 99, 93, mate. And we haven't even transformed until our final form yet, mate. Brian Ward. Insta commit, mate. There's a lot of schools competing for Willie. It looks like we're gonna come out with him though. There goes an outside linebacker. Great again, but it's like, bro, I need cornerbacks. We beat USC. That's the first time we've ever beaten USC. Wide receiver, right guard, and DT gonna commit. We did lose to Oregon, unfortunately, but we are still 16th in the nation. All right, Paul McIntyre, Jesse Prince, Nathan, Nathan Smith. Carpenter and more are going to join the squad. I feel like the rebuild is genuinely coming to an end, though. If we don't make the Natty this year, I feel like we'll make it next year. Oh, that is a really tough top eight, though, bro. Ohio State, Washington, North Cal, Carolina, Kakalaki, Notre Dame, Florida, Alabama, Georgia. Does it get any harder than that? Maybe Willie Long would get harder than that. Okay, nice stop there, Remy. Utah Utes will take that. We're averaging, like, the same points per game. This is, like, the game of all games right here. No! We lost by three! 
Chat, can we still make the natty from here? How far do we drop down? 15th again. Stanford is really bad, but they're really good. Quarterback had three touchdowns, one pick. Not bad. That's really good. You can't blame me for that. Running backs went off. 94 yards, 5.2 average. So how did we lose? Sturdivant went off for 134 yards and a touchdown. Again, the question arises. How did we lose? Cleveland had... We didn't even get sacked. I'm so confused. That fumble must have been costly. Yeah. So Washington is... Oh, man. Yikes. Okay, so we're definitely not going to make the conference championship. So it basically just comes down. Hopefully finesse our way to the top. There's no way we jump three spots this week, right? If anything, we go down, I think. Uh, if we could jump up to eight right here, then I would do the 18 playoff. But that is not going to be the case, unfortunately. Because of that loss, that costly loss. If we beat Washington, then we top 14 without a doubt. But we lose by three. So we got a new California uh, record, or cow record, I guess, for us. We beat out Keenan Allen. Wow, Sturdivant is the real freaking deal, man. He, he broke every record. We won the Holiday Bowl. That's good. And even after that, we still jump up to 10. 4,000 yards, 39 touchdowns, 4 picks. Hopefully Milner comes back because if he's playing like that now, imagine next year. Uh, Moore goes for 1,100. Unfortunately, he has played his last game. So is our backup. Sack numbers are good. They're definitely up. They were really bad to start out. Uh, Chris Pollard got himself an interception his freshman season. Okay, Jeremy Estes is from California. So I can uh, accept that. Very nice. The number one class right there. Three five stars. We're back up to a five star prestige. This is basically like the all in season, man, right here. All right, 399s on the team. Kicker misses out by one overall. Unfortunately, it's their last season for Jermaine. So I just pray that we can get it. We should be able to win. There's no reason, no way we don't make the natty, bro. All right, so we start off season five, rank 13. I didn't want this to be a five-year rebuild, but with the way this team has gone, I don't think we're going to get much better than this. DT corner, thank you. We finally got a freaking cornerback, bro. And now that we have Insta Commit maxed, I'm going to definitely look to uh, take full advantage of that. Milner is your all NCAA quarterback. Sturdivant is your all NCAA wide receiver. Two players on the all NCAA first team. Okay, we got a quarterback and wide receiver again. Uh, right tackle and left end make it this year, which is good. We have Anderson, Terry, and Swinney. Swiney, very nice. Calhoun and Gay uh, make it to the second team. All right, insta commit level three. I would like to see some big boy. There we go, Derek Manson. We needed the cornerback. We got the cornerback. Season five, Cal is 99-99-99, bro. Wow, look at that. We just signed everybody, bro. Here we go, man. The big matchup. We're better than them. And it's a home game. Yeah, there is nobody in here who could compliment our team. That's kind of unfortunate. 70 overall for a running back. He runs a 4-5-6. No, thank you. What is with losing to these teams 35-8? to eight? It's always 35-8. to eight. It was Washington last year. This year, it's USC 35-8, to eight, bro. Come on. Okay, so we lost to USC. That's not good. But if we can rebound and beat Washington, then go undefeated for the rest of the season, I think we could have completed the challenge. All right, Washington fell off, bro. I don't want to hear it. 82 defense. If our offense does not absolutely clap Washington, then this game is rigged. Again, like what? We don't lose that to an 82 defense. The team can't get any better. How are we blowing these easy-ass games, bro? Washington had an 82 defense and was ranked two in the nation. Oh, never mind. I don't know how, but we always have Stanford's number. Like, how many times can we go nine and three in a row before we finally break that, you know? And the thing is, our quarterback leaves now, so we kind of go back to square one. We finish rank eight. Are you joking? Bro, that has to be the biggest tease ever. Ten and three, three years in a row. Oh, a lot of people trying to declare, please, I need you to come back urgently, please. Yeah, no, look at that. All these 99s are gone. Yep. Now we're going back down to like an 80 overall, bro. We are going to be so dog shit. It's unbelievable next year. J Tyree. Uh, this guy's name is the letter J. I don't know if his parents were drunk when they filled out his birth certificate, but I've never seen that before. All right. So last year we got the number one class. This year, we signed the number nine class. Our quarterback is actually not that bad. He's going to be 90-something overall. Running backs are better. Our linemen look good. 
Oh, Lyman looked really good. What the hell? Free safety goes. We'll go up to a 90-something. Chris East is already a senior, man. Is that how fast we've gone through this? He's a 98 overall, chat. What's his hit power? 99 awareness. 96 hit power. That's a lot of 90s, bro. And that's a lot of juniors. You know what? If we don't win a natty this season, I will go one more. I will go one more. But... If we don't win a natty by season 8, then I don't know what to say, bro. Like, I think I might just be cursed. The people that are first in our list are not good. This is looking already to be a, a, an amazing class. And 86 kicker. Wowzers. 86, bro. We got it versus USC again. That's an away game as well. Far out. And our safety still didn't make it. Our left tackle made it. There's no way Chris East doesn't make the All-Pac-12 team. All right, here we go for the... What, six year in a row? They're not good. Well, they are good, but 93, 91, 90, bro. This has got to be the year. We're ranked three, they're ranked two. This has got to be the year we beat them. Of course, it's another loss by like seven, bro. Like, come on. At least this loss is early in the season. I just don't know why we can't execute in the big moments. All right, this is the game I'm terrified of. At least it's a home game. But I feel like we're at the point of the season where if we lose to Oregon, it might be too late. Come back. We're ranked five right now. They're not good. They're not a good team. They're 91, 91, 93. And we're at home. Whoa! Talk about a dub, chat. If we drop 63 points on a 93 overall defense, then what are we going to do to an 87 defense? Let's go. That's rank one Washington. Eight and one. Coach of the year finalists. Finalists for the Heisman. And we play. Wow. Okay. That is literally best case scenario. Bro, that could have been USC. That could have been Oregon. The fact that we are going up against Colorado. Oh no, Oregon's in our division. But the fact that it's Colorado and not USC is really good for us. All we got to do is beat Colorado and we go to the Natty. That's it. We're done. Let's go. So no 14 playoff. If we were fourth, I would do it. If we were six, I'd do the eight team. But, uh, you know, either way, we got Alabama. Before we bother taking them on, because both teams are 99, our quarterback who barely missed out on the Heisman, 3,600 yards, 42 touchdowns, 10 picks. 900 yards for our boy Jonathan James. O-line played well. Defense, how'd we do? Seven and a half sacks to Charles Dean. Four sacks to Clark. Pollard got himself two picks. But where is Chris East? He had 45 tackles, no sacks. He didn't really show out. I mean, were they too scared to throw to him? Donovan broke every record, but three records, bro. Okay, nice bait there. James with the juke, and it's a touchdown. Cow strikes first. No way. Uh, he's in too. Bruh. Bam is going to strike. This quarterback doesn't have a lot of throw power, does he? Obviously a silly play there, but come on, man. No way. No way, uh, bro. Oh, shit. Wow, nice pick. It's going to be crazy when I come back and win this game. It's going to be so crazy when I come back and win this game. Never mind. There goes another pick. You win the bets. Damn. This Bama team is no joke. No, wrong person! I meant to throw at the triangle! I meant to throw at the triangle! Bro, triangle was open! Are you joking, bro? Look how good are their cornerbacks! How good are their cornerbacks? Like, I've never in my entire 500 years of playing this game have I ever... Have I ever seen cornerbacks like this before? 99 speed for all of them. They're all 99 speed. Uh... Paula, don't be a bitch ass. Get in the end zone. Of course. Of course you get all the way to the five yard line. Oh, go for two if you score. Yeah, I got it. I got to go for two. Do you see how good these cornerbacks are? Hike, 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 let's go. 
Oh, X is wide open. Woo! Okay, nice. Very nice. Oh, let's go! Let's go! No way! It's on the money! And Clark is in the end zone! Let's get it! I need it to be a fumble right here. Somebody fake an injury! Somebody fake an injury! Ah, oh, my arm! Come on! Ow! Injury timeout! Somebody fake it! If I throw four picks, then I win that game. But I had to throw exactly five picks. Wow, what a way to end it. <laughs> what a way to end it. We lose by two, bro, after all that. So, everybody on the team at this point was from California. Uh, unfortunately, I have in my life, and I promise you, I've got thousands of hours in this game and i have never seen a cornerback core as overpowered as alabama's every corner on their team had 99 speed bro so when i would throw in man coverage they were just they were on it bro even on the two-point conversion they were there if you made it this far into the video fellas and you are the real mvp all right the rest of your days awesome and for me personally i'm out sometimes i'm winning can i breathe right underwater Ooh. Sometimes I wonder, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I wonder, can I call upon the thunder? Sometimes I wonder, can I make the earth shake? I'm celestial, like in no other way. Yeah.